Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F18C Hornet video, we're taking a look at two new modes for the AGM 88C Harm anti radiation missile. Uh, these include the pre brief mode, which allows long range shots against radars, which also use the lofting angle, as well as a new function for the self protect mode called pullback. But first, let's take a look at the pre brief mode, and naturally, we'll first go to the air ground master mode. And here on the stores page, we have uh, harm selection at the top, and we see we have harms on uh, two wing stations. Let's go ahead and select harm. And we have one on station eight. Maybe we can go to step to the one also on station two. On the left side, we have the three different launch modes. And the first two we talked about earlier, uh, self-protect, SP, and target of opportunity, or TOO. Uh, the third one, PB is what we're talking about today, uh, pre-briefed. And if you're familiar with the video we uh, did recently on the F-16 pre-brief mode, it acts in a very similar way. And that will select a waypoint that the harm will fly out to. And on its way down to the target area, it will turn on its seeker and search for a radiating uh, SAM radar of the one we selected, which is what we're going to do now. To do that, we'll go to UFC, target, and in this case, at waypoint two, we have an SA6, which has a straight flush radar, and the code on that radar is 108. So 108. And I'll uh, be putting these codes, of course, in the description text of this video. So now we have a harm ready on station two. The target is 108. And next, we have the two different pull-up uh, options. There's aircraft pull-up, uh, AC. And what this does is it uh, allows the aircraft to pitch up to loft the missile. And we'll actually get an indication on the HUD of the loft angle to make that shot. Uh, the second is HRM, or harm pull-up. And in this case, we could be in level flight. And the harm itself will actually pitch up instead. But for this first engagement, let's go AC mode. On the HSI, let's first select uh, waypoint one, and that's going to be our initial point. And because we're doing some seed work, uh, let's set up the cockpit the way I like, at least. Uh, put the uh, EW play page here. Manual mode. I prefer uh, offset. And let's go ahead and turn the uh, ECM on uh, to transmit if we get locked up. On the HUD, we see we're in AC, which is uh, aircraft pull-up. The weapon select is the harm. And off to the side here, we can actually see our asthma steering line, which we'll talk about here in a second. On pause. <sighs> Cloudy day here today. Some rain up ahead. Yeah, you can see the uh, the dam up ahead. That's going to be our IP. Go ahead and select waypoint two. Weapon designates. So this tells the harm uh, where it's going to fly to. IP. Going to the next waypoint, which is also going to be our target location. Rolling out. And let's pause for a quick second, take a look at some of this new symbology. Uh, first, on the stores page, we have some timing. Uh, at the very top, again, we have our aircraft lofting angle. Uh, the number at the very top here, that's going to be the time with a missile load uh, on board of how long it would take to fly from the aircraft to the selected waypoint. And below that is gonna be the countdown timer of the missile from launch to the target, which we'll see here in a bit. And the last line below that will be the split difference. Up here on the HUD, of course, the diamond is our designated waypoint. Our azimuth steering line is our steering direction. 
and we have two indicators along the ASL. We have two inward pointing carrots, which we'll take a look at here in a bit with HRM pull-up mode. But for this, in aircraft pull-up mode, we have this large line here. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be holding down the weapon release button and starting to pitch up while flying to maintain the velocity vector on the ASL. When the velocity vector passes through the line here, with the weapon release button held down, the weapon will come off the rail. So I'm pause. Okay, burner. Holding the weapon release button down and pitching up. Keeping within one degree of the ASL. Magnum. Let's keep uh, climbing up and get out of this weather. And we'll offset a bit. At this point, I'm going to put the uh, autopilot on. And we can see here on the source page now, we have some new data. So again, the top uh, figure is the time from launch uh, to the waypoint for the missile on board. And then below that is the missile in flight right now. It's uh, time to impact. So it'll reach the uh, waypoint about 50 seconds from now with the split difference below that. You can also see our radar indications here on the EW page. So 35 seconds to impact. Cloudy day. Twenty seconds. Well, let's go ahead and uh, take a look. And impact. And let's see this guy winks out. And it's gone. Next, we're going to be going after an S88 at waypoint 3. So, select waypoint 3, weapon designate. And of course, we need to change the code now. So USC, target, and in this case for an SA-8, the code is going to be 117. Enter. Like I mentioned, for this uh, attack now, we're going to go to the harm pull-up mode. So HRM. And what we're we'll doing is, again, we have these uh, inward pointed carrots, and we're going to fly to align the uh, velocity vector on the ASL and gradually pull up until the velocity vector passes through those carrots and the missile will come off the rail. So harm is in range, aligned, holding down the weapon release button, pulling up, and there it goes. And in this case now, the harm will loft itself rather than us having to loft the entire aircraft. Let's come off the target. Okay, we see here uh, 40 seconds to impact. Going after that SA-8. Twenty-five seconds. Fifteen. Let's take a look. And impact. Make sure it comes offline. And we're good to go. So that's a look at the pre-brief mode for the harm. Now let's take a look at pullback.
Okay, so as we talked about in an earlier video, the uh, self-protect mode of the harm is a really handy function and that allows you to automatically lock up a surface radar that is trying to engage you and uh, send a harm back in response. Uh, the problem is if you're uh, prosecuting with a different weapon, say like a Maverick, you may not necessarily want that self-protect mode to uh, pop up on you. And that's where the harm override function comes into play. And you can see it uh, here boxed, uh, I selected here on the stores page or other pages too. Like for example, you can see it here on the Maverick as, uh, page as well. Click the stores. So at uh, waypoint two, we have uh, radar. We're gonna go take a look at and demonstrate this. Autopilot off. So we got a, uh, a radar pinging us. Uh, Maverick selected. So now we have the uh, pullback indication indicating that it wants to go into SP mode but it's not going to let us. And if we hit the weapon release button, we get a crossed out harm indication indicating that uh, override is in effect. Okay, let's come off and we'll do this again, this time without pullback mode enabled. Okay, now we'll come down to the box here. We'll disable harm override. And now this will allow us to uh, enable the uh, harm in self-protect mode. So let's do this again. Okay, we have the harm indication for SP mode. Press and release the weapon release button. And the harm comes off to that target in self-protect mode. And again, the primary uh, reason you would have the harm override enabled, uh, again, is if you're using something like a Maverick and you want the weapon release button to be in regards to the Maverick release and not a self-protect harm release. Anyhow, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video, both in pre-briefed and the pullback mode, and I will see you next time. Thanks.